Welcome, welcome! It's Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today I am just flying around in 3.9, not 3.10, and I am in the Hurston vicinity. Well, you see me flying towards Hurston at the moment. What am I going to do in the Hurston vicinity? There is a lot of things to do. I love to do the cargo running there, but today is not about cargo running. It's all about making money in another way. I am going to accept a few missions all around Hurston and nowhere else. So the Hurston moons, Hurston itself, those are the places I'm going to go. What missions am I looking for? Well, I'm going to go under the personal tab on the contract uh, list on your Moby Glass, and I am going to look for mercenary and pretty much I'm looking for the eliminate authorized warrant. Uh, so you can eliminate an authorized target, somebody that's got a warrant on out for them, and it pays off pretty decent. You can actually get some of these that pay off really well if you continue to do them in the Hurston area. Since I haven't been doing these very often, I'm only going to get a little bit of, you know, as my starting wage. But that's okay. We don't need a ton right off the bat. These missions don't take very long. They're not real, real difficult, at least, especially if you have a big ship like this one. But even for a regular fighter, uh, any, any of the fighters in the game, you shouldn't have a whole lot of trouble doing this mission. Now, if you're in Aurora, you may struggle a little bit. Uh, at least at first until you have it upgraded a little bit, then you could probably do okay. But uh, if you have any kind of fighter, even a freelancer, a freelancer will definitely excel at one of these missions. So as you can see, the target is off in the distance, and somehow he was able to fire off a missile at me from super long range. I haven't even been able to target him until I get within 5,500 kilometers. Uh, but these guns can reach just about, well, it can reach around 4,000 kilometers. So you can see it was an easy takeout. The guy was in a saber, I believe, and uh, not too much difficulty for me in this ship. Now again, with a fighter, it might pose a little more difficulty, but you shouldn't have much trouble taking them out. And you can see it's easy 8,000 credits right there. No problem. So now I'm gonna go back into my Moby Glass, and you can see I'm looking for more mercenary missions under personal, and I don't see it. So I'm gonna go back to the general tab, and I'm gonna pick up some pretty lucrative jobs here, like the ECN alert. That is a great place to find some missions. Um, I don't know. Oh, I'm going back to Hurston, hoping that I can pick up another one of those missions. But I'm going to do an ECN alert mission next. And it pays off 10,000 credits a pop, which is a nice bit of change. These ECN alerts, what they are is an NPC will put out an alert that it's being attacked and you are going to respond by sh you know showing up and then you will have to eliminate the enemies before they eliminate the NPC. Uh, so far all of them that I've been on it's been Starfares that are under attack which Starfares have pretty good armament uh, you know with NPC crews they might actually do some damage to the Buccaneers that are going to be attacking it uh, there's usually only one or two Buccaneers on these ECN alerts to deal with. Again, not horribly difficult to deal with when you're in a big ship. It's definitely not difficult. But even in a fighter, you could probably deal with the Buccaneers. You may actually have an easier time with the Buccaneers in a fighter than I did in the 600i with the Rhinos. Partly because the 600i moves like a freaking bus. It is not maneuverable at all and it's quite difficult to keep on target when the target is able to close on you. So a little hint, you guys who are trying to fight against something like a 600i, get in close and you'll be able to do the damage that you need to. Now the 600i does carry a pretty nasty shield, so getting through the shield will be quite difficult for most people, uh, even you know if you do get in close. Uh, but you know, try, try, try again and you should be able to wear it down eventually especially if there's a couple of you but yeah that's my tip for the day if you're in a small fighter going against something like a 600i uh, get close they do not have any maneuverability and you'll be able to easily stay behind them or you know in position around them where they can't even get their front target front uh, guns on you uh, now they do have turrets but 
how many people in the verse are really, you know, going to have people in those turrets on the 600i? I mean, I usually do, but not very many people are going to have turrets in it. If they're flying it, they're probably flying it solo. And mostly the 600i is not being used as a combat ship like I do, but I really like using it because those rhinos are just really nasty on it. It's just kind of fun flying it like that. You know, it's definitely got drawbacks, uh, but uh, I do enjoy using it. I, I do like the fighters as well, uh, but the whole idea behind this was to make some money and make some money pretty quick. So I wanted to go the easy route and make some money using a big ship because it's just easier. So this mission here is another authorized execution warrant. This guy is holed up on one of the bases on Hurston. At first, I was thinking, okay, what's going on here? Is his ship landed there? What, you know, what in the world is happening? Is this a PC player? Is this somebody that, you know, I might actually have to worry about putting up a fight? You know, what am I getting myself into here? And I was thinking, well, maybe I actually accidentally hit the evict illegal occupants mission. But no, no, this guy is. He's holed up in this little base, and you're going to have to deal with the turrets and the people in the base to uh, be able to complete this mission. It is worth, I think, another 8,000 credits, something along those lines. Uh, if you have a smaller ship that's not got an upgraded shield, the turrets could pose a problem in 3-9 because you can't target them. You have to pretty much free fire at them, uh, freely aim and fire. In 310, you're able to target turrets. Thank goodness. Thank you, CIG, for adding that in. That makes a huge difference. But in 39 right now, it's a little tougher. You might want to land outside range of them. And I'll tell you, the range is eh, well, the range is usually about 3k. But you could probably park behind the you know little hill or something closer, get out and take it on foot. Uh, then you won't have to worry about the turrets at all. Just a little side suggestion, again, if you're using a smaller, less powerful ship, the, those guns are pretty strong and they'll be able to punch through your shields on a smaller ship. Uh, I didn't really have to worry about them on this thing because it has a pretty good, you know, pretty good shield. Again, I wanted to make this easy and not uh, challenging. I just wanted to make some money. So a lot of you guys are probably going to want to make some money too, but you may not have a bigger ship. Definitely have some caution here. You see those rocks to my right? Perfect to land your ship behind there uh, before the turrets start opening fire. I couldn't even see the turrets until I got right over the top and then they started firing on me and I was able to fire back. And this one, I don't know why I'm not able to hit this thing, but yeah, I am all over it, just not on it. Pretty interesting little turn of events. I will eventually get it down, but uh, I think I move on to another one until... Uh, I get some of those other ones down. As you can see, they really aren't firing at me after the initial blast. So, you know, I don't know what's going on, but it, the AI on these things is not terribly good at the moment. Uh, it was better earlier in 3.9. See, now I'm getting shot at. So, I, yeah, again, I don't know what's going on with that. It's just, uh, I guess it's just something we have to deal with at the moment. The AI will get better, I promise, uh, especially further down the line. If you guys are interested in this game, you've never played it before, I can tell you now is a pretty good time to get in. Um, things aren't going to get any worse than what it is as far as server stability right now. <laughs> but if you are interested in getting in, I do have a referral code that I'll leave in the description of the video down below. You'll get 5,000 free credits to start your career off in Star Citizen. Plus, you can also join my org, Texas. That information is down below as well. And we will actually train you up if you want to train, uh, you know, dogfighting in your ship or flying your ship, just the basics, we can do that. If you want to learn first person combat, we can train you up that way as well. We have a lot of friendly, active folks that are playing the game and they love uh, helping people out. Or at least they, they will do it. I don't know how much they love it, but they definitely will do it and they're really welcoming about it. They're really friendly about it, regardless of whether or not they love doing it. They, they don't act like they don't. So uh, I know I don't mind helping people when I'm when I can. Uh, my time is extremely limited between work and uh, home life. You know, I try to get these videos out for you guys too, and that takes up a good chunk of time as well. Uh, 
so I don't get to interact quite as much as I would really like to do it. Uh, I really like playing with other people in the org. It, it's really awesome to uh, you know go after certain targets missions, uh, do some cargo runs together, you know, even field a turret for somebody. There's all sorts of fun things you can do when you're with other people in this game, and it's it's just going to be so awesome uh, to be able to do that with, with people on a regular basis. Sometimes it's nice to do stuff by yourself, but it's also great whenever you can get in a large group or even a small group and do different things in the game. It's just, it makes the game so much more fun. And if you've never done that, I do highly recommend that you can hang out with some folks Get in and, and, you know, play with them. Obviously, you're not going to get along with everybody because there's going to be people that have differing personalities. But most people in my org get along really well. And like I said, they're extremely friendly folks. They're, they really like this game and they're all in it for the same thing. So, yeah, definitely if you don't want to join our org or check out our Discord and get to know some of the people there first, find an org or a group of people that you don't mind playing with because it definitely makes a difference with this game. You know, it makes it a lot more fun. Uh, it, it's enjoyable solo, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely much more enjoyable when you have a group of people to enjoy it with. So as we complete this mission here, we have to take out a lot of these uh, guys that are in here. I think there's four guys, including my target. Heck, I don't even remember. I remember shooting at least four guys here. Uh, so this is the second guy. He's a little late reacting to being shot to death. Uh, you know, I had to use a few extra bullets. That's okay. I don't mind pumping a few extra rounds into somebody to make sure the job's done. Uh, you know, it's not like stabbing them to death, which I did yesterday, or stomping on them, which was a whole lot of fun. I do believe I could have gotten away with that in this particular mission. Uh, but I just, I, you know, I, I've got the gun. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Again, I'm going for easy, not challenging. Yesterday I was going for challenging. Today I'm going for easy. So I wanted to make that money a lot quicker. Guys, also, while I got the chance, if you like this video, hit that like button, please. If you've never subscribed to this channel, but you think you might like some more of my videos, check those out. But hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that little bell icon to let you know when I do more videos because then you can check them all out as they come out. And I've been trying to do them daily. I do miss one day every once in a while. And it does affect uh, how many people actually view the videos, unfortunately. Uh, you know, YouTube has an algorithm, and uh, I try to stay on that algorithm as much as possible to, you know, keep my searches up and to, you know, be viewed higher up on the searches. Uh, but you guys liking the video and commenting uh, and hitting the subscribe button, all that helps as well. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel, you can do so by watching the ads all the way through as I take out my target here. That really helps if you click on the ads. That helps if you buy something from the ads, which I don't recommend you have to do or anything. That helps as well. I also have a YouTube membership program that you can get in for as little as a dollar. That helps me out tremendously. You know, if I had everybody that was subscribed give a dollar every month, man, I'd be able to do this full time. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be making a killing or anything, but I could definitely do it full time and. Uh, I'd have much higher quality videos out each and every day. You can also join my Patreon. My Patreon is going to be located in the description as well. So I certainly do appreciate everybody that's been tuning in to watch the videos. You guys are really awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you to all my members and my Patreon. You guys rock my world. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy, and I'll see you out in the verse.